up, YouTube? We out here. Trying to get this seal off. It's a biatch. This is horrible. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sunny ass day out. Actually, it's cloudy. <laughs> Trying to get this rear main seal off the gasket. It's on there, it's caked on there. We had to take it off the lift because uh, the rear main seal would have come off because of that back plate right there. So that right there. And then I think we figured out that my on my gold car up there, you know, that nice fine thing up there, um, the oil pump might be bad because it's not spilling up oil on, uh, yeah, it's not spilling oil. Shooting up oil to the valves. I don't know if we kept it on long enough, but I feel like we did. So, uh, yeah, we got your boy Dustin out here. Say what's up, Dustin. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> You know what I mean? Y'all seen Dust in a few of the adventures. <laughs> uh, you know, that free LT1 experience. Uh, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's where we at with it right now. I don't think we're doing anything else. Oh, he's trying to, he has a little, he has a deep, I'm going to show y'all his car. Y'all you know, see the LS monster right here, though. You know? <laughs> he has an Impala also. 96, right? Yeah. 96, DGGM, it's the paint code, sitting on some 22s, yeah. 22s, sitting, nah, yeah, he's trying to fix his interior right now, but this bitch is clean, yes sir, so we got the DGM, the DCM, light driftwood metallic, and the only thing we need left is the black BBB, which is a, yes sir, he's clean though. I'm gonna get back at y'all once we get uh once we get this shit off. After we cut our fingers about five times, we'll get that seal off. So I'm gonna get back oh, at y'all in a minute. Actually, this is part two of the video. It's actually a couple days later. Uh so look, I'm gonna show y'all. So, okay. Yeah, let's let's get let's get back to what we were before. Last time you seen us, we was taking that off. And uh I don't know if we talked about it or not, but we replaced the rear main seal. So we got all that off, replaced it, put a new O-ring in here and a new gasket back there. Um, so I got the crank. I got the, this is the reluctor. The reluctor sits on it like this. Okay, as you can see, it sits on it like that. That's the reluctor. This is the good motor. That little piece right there, you see it? This little piece sticking up, that's the keyway. That's what we need off this motor. So this is a 96 motor, LT1. Well, let me focus, focus, you're stupid. Okay, this is a 96 motor, LT1, that's a 95. So to convert the 95 into a 96, you need to change the knock sensors, which is right there. You need to change the reluctor, which is this little piece we talked about earlier. And you also need to take off this keyway right there. And also the timing cover because it has the crankshaft position sensor on it. But to make the crankshaft position sensor work, you need the keyway and the reluctor. See, it all works together, if that makes sense. Okay, so, oh, got all that all off. I got this cam out. This is the cam out the motor that blew up. That's the part number. It is a comp cam 0730408. I'm looking at it. It don't look damaged at all. I'm gonna look at it again. I'm gonna wipe it all down and take a thorough look at it. So that's what we're gonna do. I pulled the reluctor off with a three on pull like that. I got my assembly lube to, I got the assembly lube to put the cam in and the lifters. And those are in this bucket right here. I gotta try, try to take it out, my bad. And as are these, these are all the lifters. So, before we were talking about that, uh, the oil filter. So if you have the original stock oil filter in line on your car, your engine cooler lines, and if your filter's this big. If you delete right, it, somebody call me. But look, okay, so if you ran the original cooler lines and cooler lines to your block, that's how big your filter would be. If you deleted it with that 
small block Chevy adapter that sits inside your uh, your piece here, you can tell the difference. Like, ugh, let me just take this off. I'm just gonna take this off. It's a big boy. They're not even comparable. See what I'm saying? This one is super bigger in diameter. You know what I mean? This one can barely sit on top of it like that. So, this is the part number to run that adapter. 51069, it's a wick filter. Pretty much it gives you way more oil capacity, bumps up your uh, oil pressure a little bit. So, that's why I always delete it. Plus, you get a bigger filter and you don't have to worry about a line that's going to uh, leak later. Unless you're running some 600 pound, 600 horsepower, 500 horsepower motor, you don't need the oil filter. Unless you're going to be towing all day long and all that type of stuff. If you're not towing, you're just driving around normal, you know, with a regular kind of stock, little performance up motor, you don't need the cool lines. So, with that said, I'm about to clean this cam, lube it up, put it in there, put the lifters in there, put the trays back in there, and we will be there. And I'm going to put the uh, timing cover on and all that shit. So hope my next video you'll see the new, uh, you'll see it kind of put back together a little bit. So that's what we're aiming for. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.